You guys know what day this is. Let's do this thing. Hey guys, what's going on? Dylan DeJesus here, and welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday video. It is so good to see all of your smiling faces joining us here once again. And today we're gonna to be talking all about how to dye your soles and give them that really age and vintage feel. Now this is a super popular effect, something that I'm sure you guys have seen done before. And quite frankly, there's a lot of different products out there that you could use to achieve something like this. But we recently had a custom come up where that white blocky midsole just did not work for the theme. So I knew that I had to age these soles. So without further ado, let's go ahead, throw two minutes on that clock and let's dive right in. So here's a quick look at the Motown inspired pair I'm gonna be working on today. I knew that if I went ahead and aged these soles, it would just really add to the vintage feel for these. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is just applying tape near where our midsole meets the upper. This is basically just a layer of protection for me. I'm not gonna be applying dye up against the tape like you would if you were painting something. However, this can just be used as a general guide for you. After that, I'm gonna dip some Q-tips in some acetone and we're just gonna remove any potential coating that might be on our midsole just so we know that our dye will be fully penetrating it. Product wise for our dye, I'm gonna be using Angelus Brandy Leather Dye along with Neutral Leather Dye, which is really gonna help lighten it up. And then I'm gonna be mixing in some Salon Care 40 Volume Cream. Now the Neutral Leather Dye is basically just a clear dye that's gonna help dilute the color of the Brandy Leather Dye. So you can absolutely feel free to use more or less depending on how aged you want this effect to be. Some of the other dyes and processes that I've seen other people use trying to achieve a similar effect would be the Ivory Candle Wax Dye, the Dark Knight Gum Bottom Soul Color Dye, and I think there's actually even some markers out there that are specifically for aging your midsoles. But for this tried and true method, definitely make sure that you have your mixture nice and stirred up before you're ready to go. It's also definitely recommended that you have a separate brush anytime you plan on applying dye. You also should probably wear gloves and definitely make sure that you're not too worried about the surface that you're gonna be working on because if dye gets anywhere, it can be quite a mess to clean up. So as I begin applying my first coat, just a quick note, this is so much darker than it's eventually going to dry so if you're trying this yourself you don't need to freak out as soon as you see this after that first coat I'm then gonna go around the entire midsole with a q-tip and acetone just to remove any potential blotchiness or any excess dye and this is how they look after about eight hours of dry time and then depending on how strong you want the effect to be, you can absolutely apply a second coat, which is what I did here. And then same thing as the first one, I'm gonna go around again with a Q-tip and acetone just to remove any of that excess dye. After letting that coat dry for 10 hours also, then we're ready to peel back our tape. And now the real test for these, let's go ahead and hit these midsoles with some acetone. Let's grab a white shop rag, wipe right on top of that. And if we don't have any dye leaking off onto our shop rag here, you know that this custom dye job is not going anywhere anytime soon. And now here's one final look at these Motown Jordan ones. So there you have it guys, that's it for me today. Hopefully you liked this video, hopefully you got something out of it and now you're ready to go ahead and age your own souls. Please go ahead and give this video a like if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed and everybody get out there and just create.